What's up guys, welcome to the episode 6 of the Mid to Diamond series, this time we're going to play with Yasuo. And the first matchup is a Silas. And against the Silas, you know, normally everybody's taking TP nowadays because it makes the lane so safe, but against these sustained type champs you need Ignite, otherwise they're just gonna out trade you and out sustain you. But Lewon, of course, you're way stronger, so whenever you can force a Lewon fight against these type of champs, you should go for it. But if possible, wait and see what they took. Oh, wait, what? What is that? You see, I went for this because I tried to, I tried to fight in the wave. And that actually turned out to help. I did not try to run away because I would lose all my HP and then my lane would be over. But look at this. Wave also pushing towards me. So this was actually a pretty good trade. And if he was going to flash away, I would also follow up. Uh, double ignite used. But man, that was a bit insane. It happens sometimes that Lewon gank. Either my bot lane did not warn me, or I was not paying any attention. Doesn't matter though. We won the fight. And he lost a lot as well. He goes back in, I'm gonna trade. But if, because he started D, he's not able to last it anything until the wave is pushing back up. You see, that's why you don't always have to be scared. There was a pretty rough fight, but I had the minion wave with me, so that's why instead of running away, I just stood inside the wave. But it's really going to suck if another person is roaming. I should probably be warding bot side because of the time Kench. And looks like Belveth is also bot side. So these wards are doing nothing. Against the Silas, you want to go for extended trades, not short ones, because in short ones he's going to heal up with a W. You want to extend them, so if he's running in to get a healing proc onto you, you have to make sure that you are going for a Extended trait where you can all in him whenever possible. Well, that's looking good. But the champ is a bit too broken, I think. Another flash of what is that? Jesus Christ, man. Jesus. Get out of my sight. Honestly, bunch of cringes, man. How did Renekton die, though? If she did not use any sums, I guess that was a gank. I did not flash because like I was not within range of the Belveth and she had a lot of Qs left. I flash onto her and then she just jumps away and we get nothing done. It's also early yeah, so we don't have the mobility yet. This and we're gonna go for the seal. The reason you can go seal early on on Yasuo is that it makes your early game stronger. You get attack speed. Working with your Q, of course, you get crit for your passive amplifier. That's a, and also movement speed. Oh, rip. Both of them. Justice. 
Wait, he has a flash shot? By ignite, I mean what? That's a bit too close. And he also has a whole level lead. I guess that's because I roamed early on. Who knows what that was. Man, that sucks. I need to let the rip off heal me. But how does he have a level lead? Maybe he just stood and farmed the entire wave before he roamed. I had to move instantly. Yes, this matchup can suck a bit early on. For the wind wall, you know, you can block out his ult if you do it in time. You can, when he's trying to take your ult, you can block it. And the second thing is also his hook. It's only a matter of time before this vein becomes ridiculous effect. This sucks. Now it's also bad roaming around. And I don't have level 6 yet. He should not have this big of XP lead, I don't know how this is happening. Because he lost that massive wave level 1 when he died. Because you used to see he has no way of progging my ult now. I don't have Ignite up yet. That was like one second on Ignite before I could use it. So I did not get to use it before he healed I think. That's another free kill. I'm not gonna stay here. It would be nice to fix this way but I think Bard is roaming mid. So this sucks, but nothing to do. Nothing to do, guys. He's hitting absolutely nothing. And you have no AP, but bro, so that's not working out. Always nice to see bot lane losing with a roaming bot. Good stuff. We love to see it. Bot has level 6 as well. I alone my fate. Ooh, used to see. So now what happens here is he has a lot of damage and he's gonna heal up as well. So if you don't all in him, he's gonna keep doubling you and out sustain. I actually want to push this wave. Dodging his Q is so crucial because if your shield goes down, it's just a free trade for him. Is no more than a if you get hit by his Q, at least try to make sure it's not going to be the detonation part of it because that's where a lot of the damage is at. Especially if this guy is maxing it first. Bard is still bot side. Poking him without allowing to him to get free W's off. Gonna fake a room. If he E's in, I can all in. Might be warded. Hit it. Look at how much he's healing. Without ignite. It's not possible to do anything. Due to his insane sustain. I have ignite he does as well. And we don't see Bard so I have to get out. Nice. Oh, that's the Jinx ult. This has to be up here. Can I see recalls? I can push this and then peace out.
I'm gonna place a ward here. Ideally, I want to place it a bit further up. He's low on health, so I'm not gonna. He's making the same mistake all the time. Terrible player. The exact type of player who's not going to climb because he's not learning after the first mistake. Fire kills Belveth with a Hydra, what? Is that normal? But they're gonna have incredible damage. We have a terrible comp. You might be roaming bot side. One against the Belveth that you entered yourself. Oh, he rage crit, what a surprise! Garbage can player loses the roll 1 versus 1 himself and then rage quits. Awesome. You just be insta ban. When it's this obvious, you just ban people. You just get insta banned. Guess he's playing on his main account since he did not have the balls to uh, stay disconnected. Oh, just push it out. Stop playing so well. Told this guy not to pick Renekton, time, but he did not listen. You blind pick this one, it's on yourself. Jesus Christ, man. He is so fat. That's a Jinx mid. For some reason. The bard is also here, I think. Nope, he wasn't. I saw Janna was close, so even if he was here, I would not die at least. Now played. Oh, he's killing Dove top. This is why we should be doing the Drake. That's definitely why we should be doing the Drake. He has hold up. Man, they have also just the fact that they have a free card assaults. They can use whenever. But honestly, I hate having Renekton on my team. It's always the same. What? You try? Try it. running out this story is not yet finished we try he can see us I just push it anyway so he doesn't get to freeze then I would know so I can keep them in here I don't care if I'm losing but you know these animals it's better to just keep them in the game than letting them queue for a new one Gonna get the Kraken and same build as usual, but we definitely need some Imar and armor as well. Like we need everything. Wow, he hit his Q first time. First time I've seen him hit Q. Let's try to push, even now AD carries losing, so 
top jungle and bot losing, and when that happens, you're usually not going to win the game. It's just how it is. If they're losing, it's fine, but they're getting demolished. While the opponents are scaling 10 times better, in that case, it's it's over, guys. It's done. It is done, so... I should think it all started with a jungle, right? This guy getting massively kept and just constantly dying. Oh nice, I actually survived somehow but I had to get out. Jesus. Oh she got it, nice. Somehow we survived. I definitely think I should have been dead there, but it's not. Can I push this without the uh, bard being here? Right, not gonna recall here, he might come and check, so I'm gonna walk all the way up and not too close to the um, this one because if he sweeps, then he can see me. Here he cannot see me. Just something to keep in mind. But then at the same time, if he's walking up here, then he can see you recalling here, which he would not be able to do if you're recalling on this side. Ooh. Okay, that's too much, that's a bit too much. Bot coming in from behind. Oh, that tornado is so slow. So slow, maybe we can try an A-Ram team fight. Okay, nice. Not all too slow. I guess he was far away or something. Maybe that's a Drake? Need the wind wall for the vein. Oh no, my jungle died. It's just running it everywhere possible. Incredible player. Check the Drake. Got a feeling. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And the most useless Renekton pick in history. Can he do it? No mind, he can't. Because he's too dumb. Blind, blind picking Renekton. This is always going to happen. You get to play against the main top and you can't do anything. But some people don't think it's okay. Infinity Edge and then yeah, we probably need Ice Spawn. But we go Ice Spawn, we lose a little bit of damage. But in exchange we don't get one shot by the 380 carries pretty much, the Bell Earth as well. We try and go for the kill on the uh, Silas. They really were trying to dive. Larry. Hit. And the useless player stealing the shutdown, nice. Ooh, okay. The vein is going to be a massive problem because none of us can chase her. Is he going up there solo against Silas and...
Why is he stunning the Silas? What is he doing? Good luck, see ya. Oh, I'm also dead now. Oh my god, man. I can see why this guy is so bad. That's the 8 kills Vayne and he's stunning the Eustace Silas. Pretty nice. But yes, you're going to get these players at some point. And it might be a loss no matter what, but you had to play through it. Some games you have, you're able to impact them, some games are lost no matter how you're playing, and this is one of them. So you basically just have to forget about it and then go next. Because all of these four players are massively outgapped. IQ wise, and also Tian wise. It's just how it is. They are stuck here for a reason. And you can't really change that. The only thing you can do is that you don't go mental. And then you try the next game. Looks like they want it to end. Chasing the Belveth like this. They, didn't, they don't even have enough damage to finish off the Silas. Yeah, see so ya. Yeah. I should push mid. Can't stay any longer. Just would know and keep them in the game. That's the best thing you can do against these guys. Just make it miserable for them to uh, play. Three lanes being pushed at once. Hey, what? Igniting? Should I went top? All right, picking up a kills here and there. Not going to do that big of a difference, but we are stalling for a bit longer. Ice spawn is great against Jinx. And really good when they're going like Flash and Ghost, which pretty much every AD carry is doing nowadays. Because it makes it harder for them to run away from you. But against the Vayne, nothing helps. Like, it's just on. That's a little 15. We have nothing to deal with her. AD carry doing no damage because she's behind. Top lane just got destroyed. Same with jungle. So we have to like camp somewhere and then try to uh, cheese them. Otherwise it's done. The Renekton probably couldn't even one versus one the bard at this point. Why this pig is so garbage. And I always touch. If they're blind picking this one and they get counter picked. Because they're being such a liability for the rest of the team. Full damage comp with a infernal soul. Wow. Not very fun. But you know. What you have to pay attention to is that even though I'm playing with these animals, we're still playing decent. That's the thing is that you have to be consistent in how you play. So if you only play good when your teammates are playing good, then you're not going to climb. You have to be consistent. That's the key to climbing in League. He's trolling. But he has been trolling the entire game. Oh, he started trolling because he's terrible. Don't 
don't have wind wall for the next one. Or maybe I will. We should actually try to fight like a Janna knock up. And Renekton just jumping in. Like one last fight before they end. Or I could go atop and take out the Silas maybe. Then we don't have the wind wall. Oh yes, Renekton ult. Fun, fun, fun. I mean, how can we kill him when he has Renekton ult? When is it going to expire? Luckily for me, he kind of sucks this guy. The kind I mean a lot. We're stalling for now. And also that ignite has to be instant. You don't use it when he's low HP. It has to be before he gets to use the W. Which is going to be almost immediately. One more slow cooldown, so I can afford to do this for now. We buy next. MR probably Shilbo. MR only helps against this guy. The rest of them are physical. Let's just go for Shilbo. Frozen High would be so good against that team, but on Yasuo it's troll. They're getting a Baron now. It's going to be even more fun to defend. The road to ruin is shorter than you think. That's not really fun to defend. When they're going to push three lanes again with the Baron buffed minions. And 16 against a little 14 Renekton. I guess 3 auto attacks and he's half HP. I'm trying to catch up because sometimes they overextend. When they have this big of a lead, they start disrespecting the opponents. Overextending. That's when I try to. Um, this right here is dumb. Oh, that win wall was so terrible as well. Jesus, man. Jesus, that was so dumb. Misclicked it big time. Oh, wow. I guess he's going to one shot with ult now. Seri ultimate scales off of AP, right? Oh, my days. He can just run in now. Goodbye. Seri ult. One shot. Well, this one was pretty doomed, I think. Well, GG's. It's just how it goes, so let's continue towards the next one. What's up, guys? Welcome to a second game where we are having a real soul jungle. So the fun is continuing. At least this guy has played it before, so I don't mind. More like if they're first timing, because this gem has like what? 38% win rate in the jungle. You know, I don't mind as long as they play it normally. And they have double AP, so this is a good game for Witsend. Nam is also AP. But you know, Witsend. We should Synacity as well. I don't know about the first strike on Haran's whole jungle, but what do I know? Bright Diana, and she has Ignite and Electrocute, so that's probably one shot Diana. The key about this matchup is that you have to dodge your Q before you look for traits. And if you can also bait out a W, you could be starting with this little one. Oh, that was dumb. That was so dumb of me. 
No, what she started? Oh, she started the queue. So she can engage the moment she's getting uh, level 2. Have to be careful we don't int it. Alright, we got it. Just have to keep it low. Now she's level 2, so... You could also take the shield. I would have taken the shield if I were her. Um, you also take it limb 1, normally. This guy did not. But the shield makes it really tanky, even early on. Which is why she's great against these assassin champs. Now you got hit, so you had to back off, if she has him. He has ignite. Bro, the ape. What is this guy doing? Is he dumb or what? You're playing a Ren Soul jungle. That's a massive wave. Take this fight and I'm dead. If she, if she stays, we have a chance to get a return kill. But then again, Amumu could be coming up from this side. I think he might be here. Let's go. We did it. Just walking through the minions. <laughs> oh my days, man. Both of them had flash up. I actually thought they used something besides the ignite, but I guess not. He got a return kill that he did not deserve, but at least he's back in the game now, I hope. The two boots. I think I'm not gonna stay. Actually, I'll stay for a control ward because I'm about to hit. Never mind, he's not about to hit level 6. But Dino will soon. Should get level 5 off of this wave. Yeah. And when they're getting the ultimates, it's heavy CC, meaning you just get one shot. That's better to sacrifice a little bit of gold for that vision that could potentially end up saving you. So you have to take out a W and a Q and then you can run her down. So now the Q is out. Bone plating is out. Using the mobility, but remember Yasu build path is really squishy. And this is what Diana, you know, enjoys against this type of champs is that he's building straight up damage, but Yasu just builds attack speed. And movement speed early on. So you don't have any tankiness, so without the wind wall, don't try anything. Oh, I got hit. Sucks. But yes, bone plating, that would have been really good to take. Let's go. I thought when he pinged like that, I thought that Amumu or something was here. This is how we gotta get the leads. Who was fighting Amumu? Should win, right? We pinged him, so it's on him if he dies. Nice. Good to see a Garen winning. They just start face rolling the opponents. Do we skip this? No mind, let's just go for it. 
I was considering if I should get some MR, but I'm winning the lane right now, so unless she's getting fed, we are not buying MR yet, but Woodsend is huge against Diana and Amumu. Not only the MR, but also the tenacity. That's a ward for him. I have a feeling this guy is about to get caught soon. Let's take out the bone plating. Okay, miss out. Let's take out a Q as well and a W, the shield. He's gonna Q the cannon. I mean, we might be here, so I'm not engaging yet. Like in an all-in, she's going to win 100%. She has mass amount of burst damage and tankiness. So you have to go for traits when she's using her stuff on the minions. Health of the bone playing is up soon, but mainly take out the Q. Ready? He did not have to flash that one. I had the win well for it. That's good. And he's also getting stacks, I think, right? 53 stacks, that's okay. Alright, let's get out. No holds. That was a bit too close. Don't mind. I'm gonna go for double AD. I have some attack speed, also need some damage. Bro, what is this guy doing? Why would he do that? Ripsilian. Rip Smolder. Because when you're this far ahead, you gotta just run them down. Or they get the stuff back up. Got a snowball. Me and the Garen. Bot lane is getting smacked. Oh my days, what? Nice. And it's finally Rin Sol is getting the kills because he scales insanely. And Set wastes a lot of time topside, so Garen is getting the push. Please don't greet for the blue. Please don't greet for it, bro. Rip smaller, but I guess both of them are getting stacks. That's a quest when they're on the opposite teams, but I guess that's nothing when they're teammates. Garen got the tower, so that's perfect. And now this guy is fed, even though he has been inting most of the time. That's good because he scales. Yeah, like hyper scaling. Oh man, that blows. You can't dodge that one. 
We just can't dodge the Q because I tried to sidestep, but she did not have it, seems like, and then she knows when I sidestep and she got a kill she did not deserve. But what's up with this spot lane? If he holds mid, then I can go bot. Hold on the Amumu. The minions have to survive, otherwise I'm not getting her. Oh, this animal cleared out the minions. Oh my god. Oh my god, man, why did he do that? Okay, nice, good, good, good. Okay, good, he has right ass, that's huge. That is huge. I think I just held this for the, for the Kraken. Why is Garen mid? No one knows. That was so dumb. You guys couldn't have messed that up any more than that. Such a bronze play, man. Even died with the uh, right eyes. In case he has hold up or something. Just igniting to make sure. Because I also did not know where the Amumu was at. See him. Maybe if Garen can take out the Jinx. Because I'm just gonna push top. I cannot make a bot. And yes, you can go L port, which is obviously pretty good. Nice one. Let's get the kill before. Ooh! Lana's not moving, so that's good. He's going for the tower instead. Nice touch. What else? Ah, yikes. Ooh. Come to me. Dodge the Q. We should get the Drakes. Oh, they're free. I hope he can smite before Jinx Hold comes and yanks it all. That's a bit insane. I had a feeling she was going to flash away when I saw her pathing towards the terrain, that's why I swapped targets. But they have only Jinx scaling. We have the Orion Soul, we have Smolder, and we also have the Yasuo and Cillian as well. So we have four scalers. That was so lucky. That was insanely lucky. And has this one need to ping the Nami Flash so they know. Orion Soul is out here, sing. Which it should be, because Amumu has been ganking a lot. Used to jump forward. 
Stopwatch? Never mind, I won't. I have to keep pinging this kind of stuff because somebody always, always gets baited. But the Cillian ultimate is so nice because I can actually go in during the fights and don't have to worry about getting one shot. I can go top one smallers here. I don't just want don't want them to That's the biggest accident. Guess I'll go top side now. Let's clear out the vision. See if we can find the dinosh. Here she is. But she is so fast. Lich Bane OP. This seal is not going to match that. How much do, does it give? 5% Lich Bane was 8, right? Yes, 8. Slightly too fast, and I think it's for the best if I reset, because Amumu could be up here, and I can afford this one. Just got a little AD carry and jungle stack. If I get this one, the one can escape. I think I'll take it. Smaller has 132 stacks. Oh, yes, now walk within ultimate range. Halt. One. Oh, I could flash Q. Oh my god. Oh, another bubble. Okay. But she has no flash this time. Unlucky for you. I got this. He was about to die right there. He was so close to dying. Gotta let him stack. Oh, that TP went off. Okay. Get a kill? Okay, I guess we don't have enough damage on the AD carry yet. Oh, I am getting sacrificed big time. I should just let him die. He has to be careful he does not die right now because then they just get Baron, I think. Wood send is nice, ice spawn is also nice. And it's what do we build? We just go the standard path. Yeah, sustain is also nice. Aaron, bro. Aaron, help. Wait, is Garon not seeing? Wait, what, what is he doing? Garon? Hello? Bro, that's so low HP. He even had a silly and all. What is this guy doing? That was perfect aim. That was so perfect aim. I'm gonna keep chasing him. If he runs through the lane, that would be a mistake. He has to not do this. Like this, this is fine if you run this way around. I'm gonna chase him all the way. No 
Can't do it before the moment comes. Just let him recall, that's good. Things is not up, so I guess nothing to win more. Just gonna be safe. In case I Mumu was here. So they lost the Baron, that's huge. Especially on the Jinx. Because that could have been a disaster. Because of what the Garen was doing. Just running straight past them when they were low HP and he had a Cillian ult. And Cillian movement speed buff, like he could have destroyed all of them. But he just decided to give it away. Go over here, what does he have? He is really tanky as well. He has a small shutdown. Bit insane that this guy also survives. Nice one. I can keep this pushed. Set might come soon. Oh, no one is mid to clear. They want to fight without me. They could end if we die like this. They're getting themselves flanked. Oh my god, these guys are animals. That was so dumb. They are watching absolutely nothing. They don't have Sylvan yet, and I can't ping it because Riot nerfed. Yes, just ult, nice. He was isolated. Nice. Awesome, GG's. That's a good one. That was a good one. Then ult. Not within range. Or either he did not click. But I don't think it's worth flashing for the Sadie carry. He should be pretty safe, but he's dying a lot. Sitting on so much gold, so we'll just back off here so I can buy the shield bow. And then I think it's going to be a wit sand. Actually, no, it's going to be Icebone. Because it helps against all of them. With the HP and the slow is also nice to have to stop them from being able to kite. And also makes you tanky so you can help a bit. Frontlining with the Garen. And not getting insta one shot. Jesus, what a bunch of animals, man. What? They just have everything up. <laughs> and then we have us just wasting our flashes. Just wait for me, guys. No flash on Jinx the next fight. I should not have flashed the Nami then. But yeah, you can see Icebone would have done so much. Just wait for the Drake. I'll be there as well. Then hopefully... We can do this without inting. You can top. 
think I just help with the never mind. I'll go top. Garen might attract like a bunch of players, and then I can go for against the set. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. He doesn't have a wave anymore, I think. I'll just move towards him now. Ooh, no stacks there. I wonder if Jinx used the ultimate or not. He should never ever use that ultimate on self. Bro, what is this guy doing? Why did he not help? And this Cillian is such a dumbass too, like why would you ever use that ultimate on yourself? You see, there's a 13 kill Yasuo and he owes himself. Oh my days, they can actually end. Oh, this guy is such a clown. Such a disaster of a player. He is terrible. This is what you gave the Drake up for. So he can survive for 10 more seconds. Now they get the Baron. And suddenly... They are back in the game. Don't play Smolder again. It's the only thing I can say. The fact that he died 8 times on this champ. Really embarrassing. Guess he wants to go for the tank. And get absolutely nothing. He's ignoring the assassin and going for the tank. I feel like these players are getting dumber and dumber. The longer the game is extending. Just keep running. Oh, he got the execution, nice. Okay, we have to defend. This game should have been over a long time ago. Hopefully Icepawn can make the difference. It's almost a full build Jinx. I will not forget who I am. And they used to say the carry doing nothing. We need the Garon to frontline, but he has Hallbreaker, right? So he does not want to group. But our team is getting caught constantly. And they can just end mid if we die again. I cannot split push because I don't trust these guys. Especially not these two. Then it's just going full AP without any support items. So that's also nice. No shield for the AD carry. I think we have to push now. Please get a kill. Plate. I'm so dead. Man, why do we have to lose because of this? Jesus, man, that's such a terrible game to lose on. And he's dead once again. What a surprise. This is Ghost Up. Maybe Arian Sol can hold, but he does not have ult. They have Baron Minion, that's the problem. His C is not going to uh, destroy them fast enough, I think. Just don't walk within auto attack range, please. Just keep it like this. One. Oh, what is this guy doing? Oh my days! What is this guy doing? 
Why are all of them getting auto tag for no reason? He has hold up. Okay, good one. Rip Garen. We have Smolder, can we hold? Nice. Okay, he did something, let's go. I'll go, I'll go. Bro, this guy is so disgusting to watch. I had no words. I had no words, man. He's such a tragedy. Wow. Oh, there's even TP coming in. I guess I was dead regardless. But they can end now. This is GG's. Oh, no, my Garen's back up. Then has also, he just has to hold. Maybe we can hold since they don't have Jinx. Hold him. Okay, good. Lost one tower. Smaller is gonna die again, I guess. Gonna get chance he's hit. Man, he's so useless. He's doing nothing. I guess at this point he's healing them. Every single time he's uh, trying to attack because of zero damage. Can we take this? Oh, here we go. Here we go. We catch the Jinx. I guess we have to fight, no? Why did he have to attack this one? Could have waited. Just has to give it up. And then Garen, maybe he can get something. But Seth is gonna be there, no? Cancel the Amumu recall. Hello, guys. That's a jinx. Garen is coming, so I'm gonna walk up still. You her man, what? Why is this animal not using his Q? But she can't ult. Jesus, man. What are these animals, bro? Oh my god. He is so dumb, but I had no words. I honestly have no words. And we have the superstar. Dying on repeat. Well, this one is TG's. Well, this one, we should have won this one, but you know, you can see this player, so... Another loss. It happens. It's okay. And he's walking within range. All he has to do is see the wave. To actually kill the Jinx if you queued. But now he can't defend. Plus he's on the way. Just one knee bro, just one knee. Just place a knee. Nice. Good job. A nice one. These games should have been over a long time ago. For both sides. Now he dies, so we have nobody who can uh, contest the Baron. Bro, can we just get one decent fight? Every single fight has been like this. And he's doing no damage. Nice. That was the only chance we had. Please tell me he can do this. Come on, Garen. Nice. Let's go. Let's go. Holy smokes. That was a disaster of a game. He did something right. So GG's for this episode. And see you all in the next one.